Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Miranda. If you're new here, welcome. On this channel, we do all things budgeting, cash stuffing, savings challenges, budget with me's, all that good stuff. So if that is something that you are interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and follow along on this journey with me. So today we are going to be cash stuffing for the month of March. Um, I got paid on February 23rd. So this money is to last until I get paid again on March 25th. All right, so in my budget with me video, I said that I was going to be pulling out $1,092. I did, however, I've already paid my mom for my phone. So I took 75 out and then I gave $10 to my dad for dinner. So I only have, I should only have 1,007 in here. So let's just make sure that we have what we think we have. So 100, 51, 52, 53, 50, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, so 440, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27. All right, so we do have $1,007. I have already put my extra change from my wallet into this little container that sits on my counter in the kitchen so i don't have to weigh down my wallet all the time and then what i do at the end off camera is i just stick it in here all right so we're gonna look at my or pull out some money from my um wallet first so food we had five six seven eight nine ten eleven left Okay, so what so we're just gonna set that to the side for a second. And then pets. I had some left in here. Let's see what we had. It's all messed up. So let's fix this. Okay. Alright. Alright, so in pets I still had 10, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. So I'm going to keep the 10s and the 5s in there, and then I'll just put the 1s into the jar, and then I'm going to take all of this from food. So let's stick this back. I'm going to just keep this in my wallet. For pets, I do have to go get something at PetSmart today anyway, so there we go. So we're going to put that, put that to the side. And so in, I have, last time I showed you guys my new glass jar that I'm putting some fives and ones into. It's a little smudged, that's all right. So we're gonna be putting five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 dollars into the jar. I, sh I think I may probably should have gotten a bigger jar because <laughs> this is not very big and it's going to get filled up quickly. So my plan was at the end of the end of the year, maybe maybe at the end of November, um, breaking this open and seeing what I have in there. So right now we have quite a bit in there. So we're off to a good start. I'm hoping that that will make it fun for me to try and keep some money in my wallet and not spend all my money. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so we're gonna start with my bills binder. For gas, I should have 125. So we're doing six 20s. One, two, three, four, five, six and one five, so that should be 125, 20, 40, 60, 80, 125. I just got gas right before my I got paid on February 23rd, so I won't need gas again for at least a couple weeks. So that's why we pulled that out in cash. Electric, I did not pull out in cash. Water, streaming, monthly subs, yearly subs is getting 30. 
Let's see what we have now. I can get it out of there. All right. So now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 20. So 120. And I think the next thing that comes out is my Beachbody account. So I think we should be good when that the time comes for that. I haven't fully decided if I'm going to renew that or not. I'm still kind of up in the air, but we'll see. All right, so that was it for bills. Now we're going to do my high priority. High priority are just things that I try to stuff at least something into every month. Um, and sometimes the high priorities change. I may not need something. It just depends kind of on the on my mood. But these are things that are high priority to me. And I do put my food and pets in here, even though I take food out, you know, all the time. Food is 300. We're doing a 50, 10, 20s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And 5... No, we're only going to do four tens because I took a 10 out for my dad, like I said at the beginning. Okay, so I'm going to count the 20s first, and then we'll add in the 50 at the end. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Yes, so we should have 290. That's correct. To 90 in food and then pets let's see what we still have in here pets still has uh, 20 and then whatever I said at the beginning went back into my wallet I already can't remember what I said so we're doing four fifties one two three four four fifties three twenties one two three a 10 and a five. Okay, so that should be 275, 50, 1, 50, 200, 20, 40, 60, 75. And then we added 20 to that, so that should be 295. 51, 50, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, no, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, nine. Let's try again. 51, 52, 220, 40, 60, 260, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95. Yes, 295 in pets. They will not get groomed again until May, but I did make an appointment for my German Shepherd for the month of March for a vet visit because of her hips. So that, soon this money will be coming out for that. Okay, travel is getting $2. So now we have 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, $55 in travel. And I don't have any plans on really going anywhere this summer, but it's nice to have something there. And then in a few years, I want to make another trip to Universal Studios in Florida. So we'll get an early start on that. Gifts is not getting anything. Holidays is not getting anything. Home maintenance is getting 50. And I'm just gonna stick this in here because these little tra these little placeholders are very hard to get in and out. So we're just gonna leave that in there. Not gonna count at all. Car maintenance is getting 10. So now we have one, two, 300, 20, 30, 40, 340. All right, and that is it for my high priority binder. So next we're going to be doing my low priority binder. These are things that I need, but don't necessarily need to stuff a whole lot into each month because with it just being myself, I don't need certain things once a month. I usually, you know, maybe every three months, things like that. So household is getting five. And we have 30 in there, so 35. I'm good on paper towels and toilet paper for a while. I think the next thing I'll probably need is laundry detergent. So we should be good to go there. Lawn care is getting 75. We already have 30 in there. So 50, 70, 
five. All right, so we have 50, 70, 90, 95, 100, five. And they are coming next week, so I will be pulling some of this out. I go ahead and pull this out every month, even though they don't come every month. If you're new here, I have a lawn care service that comes six times a year, and they spray for weeds, um, get, the, get the lawn ready for spring, things like that. Just make sure that the, there's no weeds in the yard, basically. And so I go ahead and pull this every month, even though they don't come, but six times. That way, if I want to buy flowers in the spring or get maybe have something go wrong with my lawnmower, things like that, I have money set, set aside for it. Healthcare is getting 100. And we already have 15. So we're putting 100 in there, 115 in there. Self care is getting five. We have 20, so it's getting a five. So now we have 25. This is for things like lotion or hair care products. Um, any makeup I get. I don't wear a lot of makeup, so I don't really need a lot of money in there. Fun, we're not adding to this time because we added to it during my income tax cash stuffing. School is getting 10. Okay, and whoops. And this is for things for my classroom, 20, 30, 41. In the summer, I know I, I want to get at least a new shelf in my classroom this year. So I'm going to go ahead and start saving up for that. And that is all for my low priority binder. So the last thing we have is my savings binder. And we put quite a bit into this over or during my um, tax return or tax yeah income tax cash stuffing and i also you if hopefully you guys watched i did a cash condensing video so now my my envelopes are not so thick i mean i cannot think of the words today all right so we're gonna do roll the dice we're putting 30 in there okay so we're gonna do 30 and roll the dice um i don't normally actually roll a dice i just pull out how much money i want to add for that month and then I just choose kind of what um or where what what I want to color in I guess I should say all right so we're doing 30 so let's go ahead and color in this one and two so we're going to subtract three 27 left let's do let's do six Actually, let's do all three of these sixes. Okay, so subtract 18. We have nine left, so let's just do this five and four. Okay, so we're putting 30 in there. We colored in some sixes, some fives, and a two and a one. So, okay, so we have 120, 30, 31, 32, 132, and roll the dice. So what I'm gonna be doing with this is once I fill up this tracker, I'm gonna take this money from roll the dice. I'm gonna take this money from roll the dice and I'm going to add it to my 50 envelope challenge. Once um, this is filled up, it's gonna go into a high yield savings account as my emergency fund and i've been looking into some high yield savings accounts if you guys have any suggestions go ahead and leave those down below i've been looking into i think it's called Wealthfront, um cit bank i think it's called those are a few that i've heard from of from like tiktok and things like other other people like in comments on tiktok things like that so if you have any suggestions or you use one that you think is really good um, i want one that i'm able to put in whatever amount I want, but also be able to take money back out whenever I need to. Um, so something like that, if you have any suggestions, I would love to hear those down in the comments. But yeah, so once I finish, roll the dice, add that in the 50 envelope challenge, and then I will probably, I've made some of my own know, down here. So I may do one of these, or I may just um, print another roll the dice. And these are from Jordan Budgets. Um, if you have never heard of her, she has a YouTube channel on 
here as well. Yeah, so that is it for my savings challenges. So the last thing I'll do is I will take my change that I have in here and I'll add it to my counting jar over here, but I always do that off camera because it just takes a long time. That is all for this cash stuffing. If you have any questions, as always, leave those down in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It really helps the video to be seen by more people and also helps the channel to grow. Our next goal is to reach 1,000 subscribers, so make sure you also subscribe to the channel if you are not already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!